Guys, Ryan from Husky Moving here, Arlington, Massachusetts, serving the greater Boston area. We are a full-service moving company. We do residential and commercial moves. We do handyman work, assembly work, artwork mounting, TV mounting, odd jobs. We do light plumbing, light yard work. If it involves a house, we try to get it done. I want to do a quick video tonight on something I just saw online that I thought was very, very um, succinct. And it summarizes something I try to get across, although I've never found an eloquent, eloquent way to, to um, put it into just a couple of words. This idea, uh, first of all, let me credit Gary V. I just watched a very short clip of him, and he said something along the lines of, um, I have conviction, which means I don't need to convince you. And I thought that was very eloquent, and it's something I try to stress. If you've watched any of my videos, you've probably noticed a trend of me saying not really quite that, but through my actions, I say that to people um, a lot. Uh, it happens all the time where people will ask me for things or basically try to get me to sell myself. Um, and I don't even really get involved in it because I don't really feel like I need to. Um, the idea is that if you have conviction in what you believe in, who you are, your work ethic, uh, your attitude, your personality, your ability to manage situations, your ability to be someone's best option, you don't need to sell yourself. You don't need to convince anyone other than yourself. You've already, you already believe that about yourself. And so I don't need to convince you of that. Okay. Um, I can, if I want to, for sure, but Sometimes people will try to get you involved, especially in the service business. They'll try to get you involved in like a dog and pony show. Um, we are trying to, um, they want you to, to put on an act for them. Like as if you're doing them a favor by doing work for them. Um, now I'm always thankful for business. I don't want to sound like arrogant. Like I don't need business or anything like that. I'm always very thankful for business, but sometimes people go over the line a little bit where they're like, they're basically like, tell me why I should use you. And then they expect you to like, you know, sit there like a clown and explain all the reasons why you should use me. Like, I don't, I don't need to do that. No, none of us need to do that. If you're good at your job, you don't need to do that. I provide a good service. If you want to see why you should use me, there's a thousand reviews. You can uh, look online and, and see why you should use me. Uh, or you can ask one of your friends who have used, used me. They'll do all the, the uh, advertising I could ever need. Um, so when I say conviction, I mean... You believe in yourself. You believe in the service you provide. You are confident in who you are. You are confident in the services you provide. You are confident in the people that you're bringing with you to these jobs. You're confident in the tools that you have with you, with your vehicles. You're confident that you can provide first class service across the board to these people. You have conviction in yourself. So you don't need to convince anyone of your worthiness to do your job. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't engage with these people and have conversations and they ask you questions and you answer but that's kind of what I mean is like that's that's what I would consider to be a normal exchange of like um you know tell me uh for example like what are your rates how do you charge how do you do travel time uh I have this situation where I have an elderly father and I need to be really hyper uh aware of, of the fact that he is in beginning stages of dementia, for example. Uh, do you have an experience dealing with this? And what I mean by conviction is, <clears throat> yes, I have tons of experience with that. I've been doing this for a long time. I, we used to do, you know, my old job, we had a lot of contacts in um, assisted living facilities. So we used to go in and out of assisted living facilities, uh, on an almost daily basis, we would be, be in and out of there. And you can explain your ex experience without having, feeling a need to sell yourself or convince someone of your worthiness. Where is he? Yeah. Worthiness. Excuse me. Um, the goal is that you get to a point where you're just talking and you're talking, you're confident without being arrogant, but your confidence is explaining to them why they should use you without you actually having to be like, Oh, you, you got to use me. You got to use me. You got to use me. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. What I would like to see is just take, a, take a step back and just be confident in who you are and just, you know, re reduce your body language. You don't need to get overly excited. Um, the fact is if you're really good at your job, uh, there's a million opportunities for you to get jobs. 
uh, if you're that good at your job, there's very few of you that can replace you. So you, if you're really good at your job, are invaluable and quite frankly, way more important than one of a million moving jobs. Because if you lose out on one, mi one of a million moving jobs, there's still 900,099 blah, blah, blah to go. But there's not that many of you. There's probably, if you're really good at your job, there's probably very few of you actually. So you're the prize there. Um, and so when I talk about like conviction versus... Um, convincing, that's what I mean. Like you, you, you talk without being arrogant. You talk as if you're the prize here. You're, you're the professional. You're the one who's bringing everything to the table and you give confidence through the way you speak your conviction about yourself and the services you provide so that you don't have to go out and put on a dog and pony show. You don't have to get involved in any of the extraneous bullshit. Like when people are, for example, a lot, this is just one silly example, but um, sometimes customers will, will say something along the lines of, you know, just so you know, I'm, I've contacted a bunch of companies and, uh, we're, we're probably going to go with the lowest price. And so there's many different ways you can handle that. But the way that I would handle it with what I'm discussing would be, that's great. We're not going to be those guys for you. Uh, good luck with your search. Zip it. And then see what transpires after that. As opposed to feeling a need to like run after them and be like, no, 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 use us, use us. Maybe I can, maybe I can figure out a way to lower our prices. Like, uh, maybe, I, maybe I can do this for you. Maybe I, I need to be that lowest guy. No, I don't need to be that lowest guy. I'm good. Thank you. I'm going to be uh, where I am. I value myself at a certain level. Um, you're looking for something different and that's completely okay. Good luck to you. More power to you. That's what I mean. Conviction as opposed to convincing. I don't need to convince you that you should use us because what you're telling me you need is not us. And that's okay. So the conviction part of it would be like, I understand what you're looking for. More power to you. Good luck. And then you just exit stage left. And then what's most likely going to happen is you're probably going to get a phone call from those people because of the attitude you're giving off, which is very much like a non, uh, uh, you're not pleading, you're not begging, you're not looking desperate. Um, all right, so guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I uh, want to make a quick video. If you found any um, value in this, please like and subscribe. Contact information is at the back end of the video. Uh, I am Ryan. The email address is info at huskymoving.com. Website is huskymoving.com. Come and visit us. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for listening, as always.